I've been hurt, injured, and left abandoned. My loyal friend Pedro has come to take me to the apartments where we will stay for the night. I don't know where I am or who I'm with besides Pedro. Pedro, light a candle. Okay. The painting is amazing. I've never seen such a beautiful woman in my life. Where is the painter of this wonderful portrait? This artist must have taken great pride in his work and talents for something this amazing to be brought into existence. Pedro, come hither. Yes, my friend. What do you know about this painting and its painter? The man who painted this was obsessed with his arts and painting more than his wife, which is who he is painting in this particular portrait. One day, he expressed a desire to paint her portrait. She agreed to sit in, in the dim light of the Tourette. However, she did not look forward to the prospect of watching her husband show his affections on the canvas, rather than on her. My dearest Muffin, will you please sit down and pose for me so I can carry your beauty from real life to the components of this paper? Um, my sweet potato, I'd rather not. It is quite disturbing to see how in love you are with your work. You make it obvious that you care more for your works than me. My dearest, my love for you and my art are two different things in my life, both equal in affection and devotion. Okay, my sweetest, I guess I will pose for you just this once. When days go by, his obsession for the painting becomes stronger and stronger. Rachel notices his obsession and soon becomes jealous, but doesn't make her jealousy noticeable. And that is the story of the painter and his known obsession for the portrait of his wife. What happens to his wife in the end of it all? Well, once his painting was complete, people all over the country became very fond of it. The painter himself became so engrossed in his work that he shunned it from outside observers and kept it to himself. So. One day, when he was admiring it once again in their home, after observing the portrait from some time and giving no attention to his wife, he turns around to find his wife on the floor, dead. His wife must have died from seeing so much resentment from her husband and neglect that she grieved so much to the point of death. What a tragic thing.